on a very general level, I just want to draw your attention to two other distinctions. And that comes really when um, you talk about redistribution and then types of redistribution that you might have. And again, conveniently, there are two. One is pure redistribution and one is efficient redistribution. So now let's also talk about the difference between those two. Pure, efficient. So the definition of pure redistribution given by Piketty here um, is that it occurs when the market equilibrium is Pareto efficient, meaning that it is impossible to alter allocation of resources and output in such a way that everyone gains. Now, you don't really have to know those terms, Pareto efficiency, market equilibrium even. Basically, what it means is that the market is already in a position where you cannot adjust anything for everyone to gain, right? So this is what, it, what is meant by pure. So that in a position of the market when everything is already aligned in Pareto efficiency, meaning you can't do anything to make the whole market better off, the social justice comes in. And it says that even though market is Pareto efficient and there is market equilibrium, we still have to introduce some sort of redistribution mechanisms for the social justice, right? So this is, this is why it's called pure. It's kind of a, a Mother Teresa approach. Also, important caveat here is that the redistribution has to come from those that are better off to those that are worse off. This is social justice. From better off to worse off, right? It makes sense. Now, you might have guessed the definition of the efficient redistribution by now. Efficient redistribution occurs when the existence of market imperfections allows for direct intervention in the production process to achieve Pareto efficient improvements uh, in the allocation and equitable distribution of resources. So this is much more appealing uh, to, you know, as we were talking about redistribution, it's really appealing to bo both sides, right wing and left wing. So the idea is that you can introduce some measures for uh, redistribution of income, right, or wealth or whatever it may be. And as a byproduct, that will also improve the market efficiency, right? So here, it's so that's a good thing, right? This is when everyone in the end uh, is better off. This seems very simple, right? Pure, efficient. One, it's uh, purely for social justice, even when the market is in optimal condition. Efficient is when you can both improve social justice right and sort of equality from an equity perspective uh, from just fairness perspective and uh, lead to the market becoming more Pareto efficient right one thing that Piketty actually underlines here that I that I quite like and it's quite important to understand this is that currently the discussion between pure and efficient uh, redistribution really comes down to the scale right so usually uh, what happens is that for the pure redistribution, right, the scale of redistribution has to be much larger than that for the efficient one, right? So that you can redistribute, redistribute, achieve the Pareto efficiency, and this is where the efficient redistribution is cut off. Oh, and then any further intervention is going to be part of the pure redistribution.